I'm here in my hometown of Melbourne to check out what I think is one of the most interesting atriums in the country. What was the brief for this particular space? It was really about updating it. It was more of a sculptural court, so it had a, a moat around the perimeter. It had some slump glass yeah. sort of sculptures. Yeah. It was a very different sort of feel. So we just wanted to try and hold the space, create a very different environment, but also looking at how we could activate the ground floor. The atrium itself, it was always designed to be an extension of the workplace. The plan was to use it as a lounge, as a residence. Yeah. Uh, it feels like quite domestic. Yes, in, in, that was in, the intention. In intention. We really looked to sort of bring the outdoors in. Yeah. It's a bit of, I suppose, respite from mm. the office space. Yeah. So rather than your client going upstairs to meet with you, you can arrange to meet them down here. Or you could just pretend it's your office and That's come right. in. That's right, I'm sure some people do. <laughs> we wanted to break the space up and create different pockets. So we played with the levels and introduced varying heights. We also looked at how you could screen the space up, so the planting assists with that, and also some of the joinery that we introduced, just to sort of help divide the different seating arrangements. And then also the screens around the perimeter, which we sort of worked with the local artist and the woven ropes. Were there any challenges when it came to getting the blocks in place? Not that I'm aware of. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about the blocks. You got lots of blocks. We use a couple of different masonry blocks uh, one being the GB veneer and the other the architect honed. We wanted a product that was quite light, that worked with keeping that natural light effect within the atrium and not darkening up the space. Why do you think there's been such an interest in using bricks and block work as a decorative feature? My thoughts are people can probably relate to that a lot more than mass-produced products, but also just the craftsmanship that sort of goes into it. And in terms of selling that into the client, did they understand it at first? Very much so. Yeah. They were keen to use materials that worked obviously with the existing sort of heritage materials, the, the bronzes and the marbles that you see in the retail and sort of in the entrance to some of the retail spaces, but then also mix that with materials that were a little bit sort of more raw and unexpected for a grey building in Collins Street. It's good to see it complete and good to see it being activated and used by the tenants, mm. having meetings here and using it as it was designed.